Welcome to the Michael Message for September 19th, 2021. I'm Tim Wood. If you have lived in the same place all of your lives, you haven't had the experience of coming home. I have lived in four cities since I graduated from college. I was a journalist and I had to go where the jobs were. I rarely visit my hometown of Lebanon, Missouri. In past visits, I hoped that the people would be impressed by my accomplishments. They were not impressed. They might say, that's nice and nothing more. Well, here's the story of what happened to Jesus when he visited his hometown of Nazareth early in his ministry. The scripture is Luke 4, 21 to 30. He began by saying to them, Today the scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of men and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his lips. Isn't this Joseph's son, they asked? Jesus said to them, Surely you will quote this proverb to me, Physician, heal yourself. And you will tell me, do here in your hometown what we have heard that you did in Capernaum. Truly I tell you, he continued, no prophet is accepted in his hometown. I assure you that there were many widows in Israel in Elijah's time when the sky was shut for three and a half years and there was a severe famine throughout the land. Yet Elijah was not sent to any of them but to a widow in Zarephath in the region of Sidon. And there were many in Israel with leprosy in the time of Elisha the prophet. Yet not one of them was cleansed, only Naaman the Syrian. All the people in the synagogue were furious when they heard this. They got up, drove him out of the town, and took him to the brow of the hill on which the town was built, in order to throw him off the cliff. But he walked right through the crowd and went on his own way. Initially, the hometown people were excited about Jesus coming. They had heard of Jesus performing miracles and healings in nearby Capernaum. Jesus impressed them with his great preaching. At first, the people were glad he was there. However, things changed when Jesus started digging deep in the scripture. As Jesus interpreted the scripture, the people's attitude changed for the worse. Another way to say what Jesus said is, When I talk about God coming to free the oppressed and bless the poor, I'm talking about God blessing the people you can't stand, the people you don't want to be near, and the people you think are your enemies. You can see how this didn't play very well. The people with whom Jesus grew up got so mad that they tried to kill him, but he escaped. Here's another way of telling the story. In the synagogue at Nazareth where Jesus boldly stood, the people thought the hometown boy had made good. They marveled at how well he preached and the level of knowledge he had reached. A prophet is not welcome in his hometown. Jesus said that and the people frowned. They wanted the Jesus they knew as a youth. But now, they could not handle the truth. Jesus called them to a place where they did not want to go. Jesus told them the truth they did not want to know. God's favor was not limited to their four walls. Jesus said God's grace was meant for all. And because of their angry disbelief, they tried to throw Jesus off of a cliff. He made his way through the angry crowd. He felt much pain, but he remained unbowed. When we feel the pain of rejection, we cannot let it change our direction. We must get up every time that we fall, for ours is the greatest journey of all. Amen.